is Tech Support Combat, and today I'm going to be pretty much teaching you how to use WordPress. So WordPress itself is very, very simple to use. Uh, you could figure it out on your own probably just by looking at the names of the buttons and figuring it out. It's really not that hard. I'm basically going to be repeating the names of the buttons in this video and hopefully trying to make more sense out of them for you. But really, you could pretty much figure it out on your own. For those of you who don't know what WordPress is, WordPress is a, a website script that transforms your website into a blogging type of website. Yes, I do have another tutorial on how to install WordPress, so go ahead and check that out. I'll have a link to that tutorial in the video description slash sidebar. So click the link, watch the video, install WordPress before you come and uh, attempt to just figure it out. So yeah, um, go ahead and do that and then come back, watch this video so I can teach you how to figure it out. So let's head into our dashboard over here. Uh, you go to your das dashboard and you could access it by typing in your website slash wp-admin. In this case, it's octogeek.com slash wp-admin. That's my website, octogeek.com. And you'll see your dashboard over here. So first of all, you have your right now at a glance thing. It basically shows what your um, website blog is all about. Um, right now, uh, it will show how many posts it has, how many pages, how many categories, how many comments, and all that type of stuff. So it basically puts an, a quick overview of your website. You also have quick press where you could type in your title, content, tags, and publish a post quickly. Um, it's just for one of those times where you just want to do a little short, um, fast and simple uh, post so you don't have to head over to the post section, just do it right there. Uh, show your recent comments, your recent drafts, your WordPress development blog, incoming links, plugins, and other WordPress news. So that's all for you just to stay updated and all that type of stuff. So that's pretty much it for the dashboard. Next up you want to go to posts. Now post is basically lets you manage all the posts you have. Uh, if you hover over a post, you'll be you'll have the option to edit, quick edit, delete, or preview the post. Uh, you also have the buttons right here to add a new post. So you could type in the title, the body, and click publish and add a new post. You have post tags, and what that does is basically adds tags to your different posts and categorizes them. And then you have your categories, which um, you can put your different posts posts in different categories and then you have media media and links you don't really need to use it's just for to add um, music pictures and video and stuff like that to your website you don't need to use this you could always just embed it onto your post and your website and all that other type of stuff but it's there just in case you want to use it and same with the links it's basically the same concept and then you have your pages your pages this is the main pages of your website where you have home about contact me um, advertising and all that type of stuff um, home will already be set for you so you don't have to do that and you want to start from about or whatever other page and all that type of stuff click add new to add a new page and just type in the name the, the body of the page and press publish and also in the edit pages area it's basically the same thing as posts if you hover over, hover over a page you could edit it quick edit it delete it or view the page next up is comments comments again same thing hover over a comment you could do stuff like unapprove it spam it delete it edit quick edit reply and approve the comment um, it, this shows every comment that you have on your WordPress blog and yeah you could just delete it and monitor all the comments like that next up we have appearance this is where you manage your themes it'll show you your current themes the available themes that you have installed but not activated and all that type of stuff you also have widgets widgets is for your theme sidebar most themes have a sidebar available so you could do stuff like uh, put a search bar for example and WordPress takes care of all of that no coding is involved uh, you could do stuff like add categories just click and drag that onto the main sidebar and let go and there you go you have categories right there you could add a RSS feed right there just click and drag let go and you have it in your main sidebar it's as simple as that and that is pretty much it for the widgets and when you upload some plugins you'll have the option to use them as widgets too next up we have the editor 
you don't really use this a lot unless you know what you're doing uh, this edits your theme so you select your theme you want to edit it'll show all the coding and all the pages and stuff involved with your theme and you can go ahead and edit that if you want and then you have add new themes I have a tutorial on how to add themes so basically you just could search for themes click upload and then upload the theme that's just basically how to install themes and then you can have your theme options if you already have a theme installed in this case it says Chucky options because the name of my theme is Chucky so if I click on that I'll be able to uh, just mess around with the settings and the options and all that type of stuff next up we have plugins it'll show you all your plugins and you could activate deactivate edit and delete all the plugins over here you could add a new plugin I also have a tutorial on this you search for plugins click upload and upload the plugin and you have editor which is basically like the theme editor except it's for plugins you choose the plugin it shows you all the coding involved and you could edit it like that next up is users uh, WordPress does allow users to sign up on your website and another cool thing about WordPress is that and you could monitor the users over here they'll show you all the users signed up on your website you could edit the users delete the users and do all that type of stuff and you could change their roles to administrator editor author contributor and subscriber so that's it for the users you could also add new users and check out your own profile next up we have tools tools isn't really used a lot um, tools is used for some plugins and is mainly used just to upgrade WordPress to the um, latest word version of WordPress so next up we have settings which is basically the last thing uh, settings is basically all the settings that have to do with your blog your blog title your tagline your blog URL your email address um, all that type of stuff you even have stuff like um, your time format of the blog the date format the time zone all that type of stuff and then you have all the settings for writing reading discussion media privacy permalinks and miscellaneous and also most plugins that you download will go under the settings tab so you can click on that plugin and change the settings for that plugin too so that is basically WordPress just simple WordPress that's how it is and here is the WordPress blog I've been talking about this isn't my main WordPress blog by the way that my main WordPress blog is octogeek.com so yeah that is it for this tutorial that's WordPress obviously there's much more you could do than that but that's just simplifying the whole thing of WordPress so that's it for this tutorial if you like this tutorial please check out my website or my YouTube channel at techsportcombat.com that'll redirect you to my uh, YouTube channel and subscribe if you like my videos and also check out my website at octogeek.com uh, it's a graphic designing blog I post tutorials um, sometimes uh, giveaways and also I do a lot of inspiration posts so that's pretty much it for this tutorial hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial thanks for watching and until next time I'll see you guys later